everyone welcome back to the channel this is Meredith and today I'm going to do a small haul of things that I bought this week um, so actually one thing about last week but it came this week um, so anyway if you're interested in that stay tuned it's going to be a small yes style haul and then also a small blooming nails haul by that I mean it's one thing from blooming nails um, so if you're interested stay tuned I did just film my empties video so that will be coming up on Wednesday so if you're interested in skincare household stuff and things like that and what my opinion are about any of the products that I've had in my mail Monday videos definitely stay tuned maybe consider subscribing and putting the bell icon on um, just because I am trying to go thoroughly in depth for you with my honest opinions and kind of thinking critically through things with you um, just so that you kind of resist the urges of spending money just because things are trendy I hope that makes sense um, just because I know I get tempted by trendy things but then I never purchase them until a lot later um, I was talking with one of my friends about this and she's like oh my gosh yeah you're really good at delayed gratification and my mom always tells me that like I always have um, buyer's remorse before I actually purchase anything which is totally true it's usually like oh my gosh I can't believe I'm thinking about spending this much money on something I could be like buying a meal or something at my favorite restaurant for that same money so I'm trying to do that for you without passing judgment on your choices I hope that makes sense um, so anyway, it is quite cold here, so I apologize if you hear the rain. It is like 50 degrees and super rainy right now, so there was no other time to film. Yesterday was also 50 degrees and rainy, even though last week was like 94 degrees and very sunny. Um, that is just life in New York in the spring slash summer. Um, so yesterday, since I was out getting my stuff from the P.O. box, aka that one box that I will be opening later from YesStyle, um, I did stop in for a little bit of shelter in the rain and wind at the Bloomingdale's out outlet, and that is at 72nd Street and Broadway. I 100% recommend going there if you are traveling to New York or you live there, because you can often find really great deals on a lot of things. They have expanded recently also to have a little bit of household goods, like housewares, homewares. Um, like kitchen appliances, kitchen goods, that sort of thing, and also bedding and things like that. Um, I also like to shout it out for you, um, so even if you are not a male, but I know that you're probably not a male from looking at my demographics for this channel, but um, for men's clothing, usually it's a little bit less I guess it's a little bit more like an afterthought usually in a lot of the stores I go into, but the men's section and the men's floor is actually quite expansive on in that location. And then you can also get really great deals on designer clothes and things like that. So it is Memorial Day weekend, so they were having a large sale and it was additional 30% off of the clearance prices. Um, so that's what I took advantage of. Um, so I did buy one pair of jeans. So I am on a low buy, no buy. But I did have one pair of jeans on my low buy, no buy for this um, six month period. Um, I'm going to reassess at the six month mark because I like to re kind of rehash some of my rules and things because my needs change per season just because it's not like I'm living in a temperate climate. Um, these seasons do matter here. Um, so I had actually thought I only had one pair of jeans in the entire world but I dropped a pair of socks behind my hamper so I had to crawl on the floor in my closet and I did find another pair of jeans today. I 100% don't know where I bought these. I mean I know where I bought them. They're from Uniqlo and they're written in Korean so I must have bought them in Korea. I just don't remember when I bought them or where I bought them or why I bought them. They're really not my style but I will be continuing to wear them so I actually didn't need these jeans like I thought I did um, but yeah I did get these page jeans and they're like kind of like a skinny jean, a high waist skinny jean, and they have um, like unfinished edges at the bottom, which is something that I really wanted to try out. I do know that um, skinny jeans are supposed to be like on the out right now, um, but I just decided whatever, I don't really, I'm not a fashionable person, so whatever. So you can see here that they were originally like $216, but they were $45 on clearance, and then since additional 30% off, um, I got it for like $31. Um, there is no sales tax in um, um, New York City if you pay under, I think it's $115 for clothing. Um, so keep that in mind if you are going to be traveling here. Um, so this is from Paige Denim, as I mentioned, and the fitting rooms are still not open anywhere, so I had to kind of guess, especially because it was final clearance, so I couldn't return them. Um, so I had to guess, and luckily they did fit. Um, so this is what they look like, and I do really like them. So I tried them on last night, and luckily they fit. So I was a little bit worried, um, because my calves are very large for my proportionally, like for my body. Um, so sometimes, especially for skinnies, I can't get my leg in. I can't even get my feet in sometimes. I don't know if anyone can ever buy skinny pants at Banana Republic, because whenever I put my foot in, I can't even get my foot in. <laughs> 
sometimes like even the thigh holes I don't know how people wear them um so leave a comment below like sometimes like even to get my foot in I have to go to a size 8 which is not my size at all but just showing you that I also have very small feet so again I don't know how people buy pants there um so this is um, Paige Denim I've honestly never bought these before because I would never pay like $200 for a pair of jeans um they do feel really good though um, so I was kind of deciding between these and a pair of Joe jeans, which are another brand I would never be able to afford slash ever allow myself to afford because um, they're also like $200. Um, but those felt really um, thick and kind of stiff. So I like these because they do have a little bit of a stretch, but it wasn't like super stretchy. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, they do feel thick, but they also like feel like a nice summer-ish jean. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, again, I don't wear jeans that often, so I don't know how to describe them, but they do fit really well. Um, I do think they're really good for like $30. I don't think I would pay $200 for them. Honestly, let me know below how much you usually pay for jeans, because again, I only own three pairs of jeans now. And one of them I bought in like 2013 to gra after graduation from um, graduate school, and those were like on sale for like $10. And then I have these ones that I'm wearing right now that I think I bought in Korea. I don't remember why or when, but probably also for like $10. Um, so these are the most expensive jeans I own at $30. So this is again from Yes Style. Um, so I ordered last Saturday and this made it to my P.O. box on Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday. Um, so the reason why I got the P.O. box is because I have issues with my packages going missing in my apartment building. So basically, I need to start shipping everything there because I made an order for Nespresso. Um, so when I left my last job, they gave me an espresso machine, but I don't have any pods for it. So I bought some pods, but um, literally they got stolen within like a an hour or so probably after they were delivered because I wasn't informed that they were getting delivered because it was a Sunday. Long story short, I got a refund. Um, but this, yeah, so this one made it here. Um, it was really fast actually. So some of my friends were a little bit worried about Yes Style, but um, I hadn't been ordering there for a long time, especially past COVID. Um, so just letting you know, it only took me like um, a one week to get it. And that was just because I wasn't going to the PO box during the midweek. Um, and then also it was really quick to clear customs. I didn't have to pay any tax or fees or anything like that on it. Um, also, also, um, I will link things below if you are interested in looking at reviews and things like that. So I am an affiliate with YesStyle. I don't think I'll ever get paid from them, to be honest, um, because I think you have to reach a certain threshold, and I don't think people really buy that many things from YesStyle. Um, but if you are interested, you can use my code EATSTRETCH. It'll get you a certain percentage off of whatever you purchase. It kind of depends on how much you purchase, what percentage level you get off. I hope that makes sense. Um, but I will get a small commission from that. It will not increase your price. It'll actually decrease your price for you if you use my code. Um, so let me just get started and I will link them below. They were things that, um, again, I'm on a low buy, no buy, but these were on my list of things that I allowed myself um, just because they were holes in my collection. So let me get started. Um, so the reason why I made this order was because I had a few things that I did need, but then also I had a credit that was expiring. So I don't remember why I had that credit, but it was supposed to be expiring and I just wanted to use it because um, it was kind of a high credit. Um, so I paid $40 for everything in here, but the credit was like $20. So they did pack it quite well. It's very, um, it's very stuffed in here. <laughs> so everything I ordered isn't breakable or anything. Um, so I didn't do a mix of clothing and skincare products, so let me get everything out. Um, so this is everything that was in there. They did get a little bit smushed in the boxes, so keep that in mind, I guess, if you're purchasing it as um, a gift for someone, they might get a little bit smushed. So the one thing I would say is the reason why I like purchasing on YesStyle versus like Amazon, for example, for skincare products, especially from Korea, there are a few exceptions, but for some of these smaller brands that are quite um, viral, I guess, um, on Amazon, I I can't test the veracity of the products, um, whereas on YesStyle they have like listed on there that they're an authorized retailer, um, which makes me feel a little bit more comfortable even though I'm spending like maybe a couple dollars more. I'd rather have the real product that I know is real. Um, but that being said, I did order a couple of clothing items just because I did need a couple of things for summer because I haven't gone shopping in probably like two and a half, three years um, just because I buy a lot of basics so I don't really need to re-up my wardrobe. I also don't own any shorts so I needed to buy them um, so I was feeling quite miserable and sweaty on my sofa last week um, when it was like 90 degrees um, so I bought some shorts just because it was an impulse buy because I needed some shorts. So let me just open the bags because they're a little bit crinkly off camera and then I'll come back. Okay so these are the 
clothings. So um, I bought a pair of shorts. So these are some denim shorts. I got them in size small. Um, so I thought this was a Korean brand, but it's honestly, it's probably Chinese. Um, so you know that it's not worn because, um, especially for Chinese products and Asian products mostly, they do close the buttonhole just to prove that nobody's worn these before. So I do appreciate that, that I know that it's um, a brand new product. But these have um, a zipper here. The zipper doesn't feel the best, to be honest. Um, but I think I will only pay like $10 for these. I'll put the prices on the screen. But I do think that these will be nice. Um, honestly, I don't think that they're going to last super long, so um, I do kind of regret that because I usually try to buy pieces that are going to last multiple years, but since I don't put anything in the dryer, I think they'll last probably longer for me than if I were to dry the products. Um, but this is a nice gray kind of de black denim. I hope that makes sense. Um, it does have real pockets in the front and in the back. I also really like that it does have some... Um, <laughs> what's well, called elastic ruching on the side um, just so that it kind of tucks it in a little bit for you. Um, to go with these shorts I also bought this shirt. So it's just a very basic shirt here um, but I do like it. It's kind of like a thick um, thick stretchy cotton-ish material. Let me see here if I can find what actually it's made out of. Um, so I think it's like a mix of cotton and nylon and spandex um, so I thought it would be a nice one to pair with this um, so this is like what I'm thinking about there. Um, I do like that it's like a high neck um, just because um, <laughs> I don't know why but I just like the higher neck sort of products and then I also like the sleeve length here as well. Um, the other thing I really do enjoy about this t-shirt is um, I don't know why but for women's t-shirts they're always super thin. I don't know why that is. Um, so I think for t-shirts, I usually go to Muji. Um, recently, I have been reading about um, where they may or may not be sourcing their cotton. So until they make a statement there, I probably will not repurchase from them. But they have really thick kind of cotton, um, what are they called? T-shirts. Um, just because I don't like the really thin ones because I feel like, I don't know, they just don't feel as comfortable or... Um, they're like too stretchy. Um, so that is these two clothing items. Um, I don't think necessarily that I got duped, but I also don't think um, that they're exactly what I expected. Um, I will probably say, um, so I'll kind of let you know next month what I think about these, um, just because again, I'll have to wash them before I wear them because I don't like wearing brand new clothing or trying them on until after I wash them. But yeah, this button also makes me a little bit scary. It's a little bit uh, loose. Um, but yeah, I feel like I thought these were Korean products, but then they were designed in Korea, but they weren't Korean products at all written in Chinese. Um, but that was probably my own problem, not reading the site closer. Um, so these are the skincare products. Let me open the bag. Um, so this one here is something that was um, the influencer. So I am like a yes style influencer. It was like their products. So I just added it on. This is a Time Stop Peptide Eye Cream for Face. Um, so this one I didn't pay for. This is the Revitalizing Extra Firming Radiant Looking Premium Eye Cream with Damask Rose and Honey Helps Prevent the Signs of Aging. The Rosa Damaskina Flower 36%, Honey Extracts 10% of Plant Extract Base, 30 ml or 1.01 fluid ounces. The brand is called The Plant Base. And it says this is a premium eye cream with glowing honey texture, protects the skin from harmful components and provides vitality to weaken skin for the real cool glowing skin. From seeds to roots to flowers, damask rose extract which contains all the energy of a rose and, and AQP1 peptide open the moisture pathway in the skin to improve skin texture and condition. An eye cream formulated with a structure similar to the skin through, through multi-lamellar emulsion technique strengthens the skin solidly and makes it look lively like a freshly bloomed rose. So yeah, I'm actually quite interested in seeing this. So I'm going to actually show you what it looks like on camera. So this is the tube. So actually this kind of reminds me of a BB cream I used to use back in the day. I think it was Face Shop or Misha. I think it was Misha. I used like this, like not the red one, but the in Misha, I used to use not the red one that's like the basic one that's like $10, but I used to use the one that's like anti-aging, and it comes in a tube that kind of looks like this. Um, but let me open this. So um, the tip is a lot shorter than it looked like with the container there. Um, so let me just show you what the texture looks like. 
Um, by the way, with the sniff test, I didn't smell anything, so that's a plus because I'm not a huge fan of rose. Um, so that's what the cream looks like on my hand. I hope it's in focus. Um, it has kind of a, like a light cream color, but it has kind of like a mix between like a gel kind of look to it um, in terms of the texture. So let me just rub it in. Um, so the rose scent is very natural. So sometimes with the rose scents that I don't like, the reason is is that they smell like perfume, but this smells like an actual natural rose. Like if you went and you sniffed one in your grandmother's rose garden or at like the public rose garden, that's what it smells like. So it doesn't smell super fragranced. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else. Um, but it does um, have a very nice texture. It has rubbed in and now the scent is completely dissipated. Yeah, so I do like this. Um, it does have kind of a little bit of a stickiness to it, but it's not like super sticky. So I will let you know in the June empties video what I think about this product in fuller detail. The other thing I purchased is from Jejun, their green tea eye gel patches. Um, so in my empties video that is going up soon, I did use up the last eye patches or the under eye patches that I had. Um, so I did need some new ones because I do enjoy them as part of um, kind of a relaxation routine for myself. Jejun is a pretty famous brand, I think, um, for sheet masks. Um, and I have tried it in the past, um, the orange one, I think. Um, it has like an orange packaging. I don't remember what <laughs> anything more than that. Um, but I did purchase these because I thought it was a great price. Um, this one also is expiring in 2022 in December, so that's a great shelf life there. Innovative water-soluble hydrogel patches help to refresh dull skin and enhance moisture and retention with powerful soothing formula. Unique combination of green tea and nature-derived extracts enrich skin with firming and brightening components. Um, so these you leave on for 20 to 30 minutes and then you pat um, the additional stuff. Um, there's a lot of extracts in here, so um, I did not see any of the ones that I'm personally trying to avoid because I do notice some reactions to, um, but I would say that if you want to look at the reviews and the ingredients, again, I'll put the link below for you. So it did have a nice seal on here, and then you can also see here, this is the QR code, so you can tell that it's real again, which is something I appreciate. Um, so this is the container. And it does come with one of those little scoopers, which I was a little bit worried about not having. Um, so you can just peel it off to get one patch out. And these are the patches on the inside here. Um, so it looks very wet in there, um, but I'm gonna just close it back up because I don't want any mistakes, but it does feel nice. Um, so I did get a little bit of the serum on my hands. So let me do a quick sniff test. Yeah, so it's a very light scent like very green tea light scent, so I do appreciate that as well. Um, so again, I'll put this in my June 2021 MDs video, so if you're interested in knowing what I think about them, stay tuned for that. Um, I forgot to mention this came in like a pack of 60, so it's um, 30 pairs. The final thing I purchased are these Gentle Steam Eye Masks from Japan. It's a 12 pack. Um, so basically I have one left and I've been holding out on it um, because I didn't want to run out um, but then I saw them on YesStyle and they're a pretty good price and again they're authentic. Um, I was eyeing them at Ulta but they're a little bit expensive there if I'm being honest. I think I paid a little bit more than a dollar an eye mask or an eye patch, um, eye, what are they, eye masks um, on YesStyle. I'll put the link below again so you can look at it. They had quite a few scents um, I think I ordered the unscented one, but I can't read any Japanese to let you know. Yeah, I don't know. So I thought that I was getting the, according to the website, the Man's um, Fragrance Free. They do have eight different scents there. They had a couple that were targeted towards men, and then they had ones that were like, generally in a pink box, so I think that they're marketed more towards women. Um, the ones I have on my shelf that I've been hoarding is um, a lavender scent. So personally, lavender is not my favorite scent, but I purchased it because I can't read Japanese. And also that was the only one they had at the store and I really like the product. Um, but I do really enjoy this. It's a really nice relaxing thing to put on right before bed because it just kind of gently relaxes your eyes with a gentle eye steam. 
My friend also says she really likes using it on airplanes um, so that she can relax on the airplane as well, which is a great idea, especially for starting to travel again. Um, but I have never tried it myself because I get a little bit scared on airplanes. I don't know. It's just like I don't want people around me to like look at me and have me have my dental eye steam eye masks on. But yeah, it is a really nice relaxing steam eye mask. Um, it's kind of like the same technology as hand warmers. I don't know if that makes sense, um, but it is kind of like that, but it doesn't get quite as hot in my experience at least um, because you don't want that sort of heat on your eyes, um, but it is really relaxing. It does kind of help depuff. And then also, again, I do have allergies, um, so my allergies kind of um, clog some of the ducts in my eyes. So this kind of helps release that pressure and the gunk that's in there. Sorry, that's a little graphic, but it is quite nice to have, which is why I was leaving that last one until it was like too much and I needed to 100% clear out my eyes. So I'm very happy to have this. So that is everything that I got from YesStyle and Bloomingdale's. I am pretty happy with my purchases. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about are those shorts, just because again, I thought they were going to be Korean product, um, but they are Japan, uh, but they are Chinese. Um, so that was just probably my bad. I should have read it a little bit closer, but I did think that when I was looking through all of the photos, I thought it was all in Korean, but I could have just clicked on the wrong thing. Um, but yeah, leave a comment below if you have any questions or what kind of products you recommend that I try from Yes Style because, but I am going to try to start ordering from there a little bit more often, maybe once a quarter, just because again, now I've tested it out and I know that it only takes like a week for shipping. Um, so yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching and I will have my empties video um, in a couple of days. I think I have like almost 80 products in there that I reviewed. So yeah, hope you enjoy long form content. Thanks for watching. Bye.